The movement to save the Terrace Theater in Robbinsdale is continuing. Thanks to one Robbinsdale resident, the Terrace is getting plenty of love. Eric Nelson has a story. Having been dark for 17 years, honestly, it's a travesty. It is an icon. It's been standing for 64 years now. The once popular Terrace Theater is a crumbling and decaying structure these days, sitting in limbo in a Robbinsdale strip mall. It's hard to tell with the boards here, but the lobby was huge. It was absolutely gorgeous. There has not been a flick at the Terrace since 1999. It needs to come back. It needs to be an integral part of the city again. David Leonard's mission is to preserve the theater. People are starting to take notice of it. Leonard is afraid the Terrace will someday be demolished, so he has fired a preemptive strike by gathering 2,161 signatures on a petition. The response that we received was phenomenal. Leonard wants Terrace owner Bricksmore to lease or sell the facility and hopes the petition convinces the Robbinsdale City Council to deny possible demolition attempts by Bricksmore. You can't undo a demolition. My wife is fond of saying that regret only goes one way. Once it's down, yeah. you know, that's it. You should keep the buildings that are old, that are historical. It, it needs to stay here in Robbinsdale. A lot of people came here and, and we miss it now that it's gone. The theater was a magnet for many decades, pulling in moviegoers from all across Minnesota. The terrace has been around for 64 years. It is the oldest suburban theater in the Twin Cities. In its heyday, it was a Robbinsdale landmark. The terrace was like a lighthouse shining across the entire city. And this beacon has not been forgotten. It is part of the League of Historic U.S. Theaters. And you knew that where the terrace light was, you knew that that's where you went to have good family entertainment. Leonard's vision for the terrace is to see it become a multi-use facility. A reopened terrace theater would also renovate and help revitalize this area as well. Back in the day, many of the movies playing at the terrace had happy endings. Now the question is, will the theater have its own happy ending? In Robbinsdale, I'm Eric Nelson, Channel 12 News. The Terrace had 1,300 seats when it was open, and people came from other theaters to Robbinsdale to try to replicate it in their own hometown.